As part of the COVID-19 remote teaching, I thought I'd put together a little video showing you just some of the new technology that I've had to learn about these past couple weeks and what they will mean for the classroom. Um, what I have running now is, what you're looking at is a picture of my current setup in the basement, just down in the office at home. Here's the microphone that's picking me up. Here's my audio interface. I'm going in the mic uh, preamp number three. This uh, is an old Wacom um, touchpad or, you know, a stylus pad that I bought, I swear I bought this 15 years ago. I bought it for my daughter when she was taking an art class and I've moved and several houses since then and somehow I've always kept that thing with me and somehow it always keeps working. You'll see how that gonna, that's going to tie in in a minute. So here's my main laptop. This is the screen that'll get recorded. And then up here on my secondary monitor, I've got a cool piece of open source software called uh, OBS, which many of you students are familiar with already. It allows you to uh, record, record yourself playing uh, video games with yourself in the corner like I am here. So this is my setup at home. What I've got rigged up, swipe over. And here's a web browser. This is just to show you the software. OBS, if you're not familiar with it, runs on. I, I really like all these the software I'm using. Uh, it, it's available. I'm a, a big Linux user, so it's available on Linux and Windows. And one of the classes I teach at another college here in Kalamazoo, uh, I don't need audio for, so I teach that course in Linux. And I can do all the same things that I'm going to show you here in Linux. So uh, OBS, great program. And another program uh, I started using is this open board. It uh, turns your screen into a whiteboard for writing on. And while I'm not very good at the hand-eye coordination yet, drawing on my little uh, Wacom tablet, I'm getting better at it. So again, this is free software available on all platforms. Swipe over one more, and here's open board. So right now this is the, the mouse I'm moving around, but I'll grab my little stylus here, and I draw on the tablet, and again, I'm not very good at it yet. So um, if I were to try to draw something like, here we have three audio tracks in Pro Tools, and they're all feeding a bus, and then we take a reverb send off of those, and yeah, I, I still have to do a fair amount of practicing to do on this. That should look familiar to AVM1 students. So, um, but it'll get better, and uh, you know, you can change your colors of your change the colors and thickness and and uh, you can do individual erasing or you can just hit the big erase button up here and start fresh so I've been using that already and uh, I'm getting better at it that's about all I can say about that and then finally um, here's Pro Tools running and I can load up a session in Pro Tools and when I hit play it will because I have some command keys configured when I hit play it'll mute the microphone and uh, the microphone is just out of sight right here. You can't see it. Maybe if I move this just a little bit. There it is. Just a little dynamic microphone to record me. And when I hit play, it tells Pro Tools to play, and it will mute the microphone at the same time. There. Turns off Pro Tools, turns the mic back on. And all of this gets recorded to a nice big quick time movie. Uh, about an hour of lecture equals about 1.2 gigs of file size. So this is not going to be able to go up on Moodle or on Canvas. It'll have to go up on a Google Drive link that students will then download. So I thought you'd get a kick out of seeing that. And uh, I'm still tweaking it. I've still got a little bit more time before I have to start posting anything for Columbia. But I'm already using this with success. The students have given me feedback saying it feels great and uh, with my local college here at KVCC. So uh, self-isolate and hope to see some of you guys again soon. Bye.